check, 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 check. Let's go. Yeah, I don't chill much, man. I'm plotting on the takeover. Trying to get them billies like I'm Dre A and J over. Beg for me to drop, tell them that the weight's over. They get that they high. Till I hit them with that flamethrower. Support my homies in. I'm praying for my enemies. Fake love everywhere. Yeah, that shit be killing me. Still bless them, sending them miracles like I'm Genevieve. Don't fuck with women that I don't got no chemistry with. I'm the future when I speak. They, they think, think I'm, I'm a prophet. prophet. You a boss and let me see you come up out of pocket. I'm, I'm not, not a rapper, rapper. I'm a fucker. Yo, 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 what it do, family? It's your boy, New Future Flash. You tuning to Team G Reacts, and we are back with another reaction. And I guess it's time for me to uh, jump into the uh, the drama. <laughs> and it kind of sucks because if we're being honest, um, a week a week ago, I definitely did do the seven minute drill reaction, but I shot it, and then I had to go work for like work on Dreamville. Like we was working that whole weekend on the um, some of the events at the festival. Um, if you guys saw the live stream, I was definitely on it. So, um, when I came back <laughs> to post this shit, this motherfucker apologized. So I was like, damn, ain't, ain't really no, no point in, you know what I'm saying? So that kind of blew me because we was arguing with all my homies, you know what I mean? Like my boy's a huge Drake fan. And I was like, from what I've seen, J. Cole is the most in shape right now. I felt like he would have came out on top and finally had an opportunity to really, you know what I mean? Like, goddamn, stop being, like, looked at as, like, the, the third wheel. But then he apologized, and that just, that broke my heart because it just looked crazy as hell. But anyway, the king of the north has responded. <laughs> and I know this is really... This is really the matchup everybody want to see, Drake and Kendrick. Well, who's going to win? Who's going to win? Because everybody, like, even me personally, I think that Kendrick is a better, like, rapper. But Drake is a a mastermind when it comes to how he how he in, enters beat, beefs. Because every time, it's like he he knows he's witty as fuck. So he'll make you, like, the laughing stock of everything. So we're going to get into it. You're going to see what he's doing. This is push-ups, drop and give me 50. Let's go. And bam. Ooh, this beat is cold already. Yeah. Hey, I could never be nobody number one fan. Mm. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. You pussies can't get booked outside America for now. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Mm. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? This the part with the bro. How? See, this is what I'm saying. All right, this is the dangerous part. I explained it to a lot of people. Like you can go lyrical miracle, right? But there is a talent to con consolidating everything. Like he come out the gate swinging, two lines in, and and the fact that he's fighting like basically everybody around him, this all can apply. Like when it comes to a uh, future, when it comes to the weekend, when it comes to Rick Ross, like I can't be a fan of y'all because I'm the one that got y'all 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 only number ones that you got. You know what I mean? Like that's that's a hard ass like just uh, back up. You know what I mean? Because I know, <laughs> bro. And then this is definitely at Kendrick. You ain't taking no chains off of us. How you big stepping with a size seven men's arms? Everybody know Kendrick's small as fuck. And he was like, we out here take snatching chains and burning tattoos. He's like, bro, you ain't taking shit. You too small to even like talk this physical stuff. Which <laughs> I'm telling you, he's gonna his his angle is gonna be turning Kendrick into a joke, bro. Because every everybody has him in in the highest esteem. So this is what this is gonna be. I, I guarantee it. Your first number one, I had to put it in your hand. Uh, you pussies can't get booked outside America for now. Yeah. I'm out in Tokyo because I'm big in Japan. Mm. I'm the hit maker, y'all depend on. Backstage in my city, it was friend zone. You won't never take no chain off of us. How the fuck you be stepping with a size seven man zone? Uh, this the 
Bart with the bite, nigga, what's up? Mm. I know my picture on the wall when y'all cook up. Yeah. Extortion, baby, hope for red, you been shook up. Mm. This top told you drop and give me 50 like some push-ups. Hood, your last one brick, you really not on shit. They make excuses for you cause they hate to see me lit. Pull your contract cause we gotta see the split. Yeah. The way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty. Maroon 5, need a verse, you better make it witty. Then we need a verse for the Swifties. Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50. Yo. Pip squeak, pipe down, you ain't in no. Bro, yo, he is going crazy. See, dog. This is, it might not, it might not hit as hard as it's supposed to, like with like fans, but what he's doing right now is like, I didn't know he was going to go like, I thought he was going to do like a little light type, you know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, back up. Like, like kind of what J. Cole did, but this, dog, this is fucking like really, for one, I don't know the top, top and Kendrick, like current relationship, but this would definitely like make you look away because he's what he's basically saying is your your last album was trash and and then they giving you a pass because they don't want me to be this far in the lead so they're gonna keep on acting like your albums is doing this that and the third so you could like be looked at as my peer but you really not and then over here he's he turning the push up shit into the to the music contract thing saying that every time you drop a song. Top Dog getting 50% of that shit. So what he's going to do is he's going to push you into doing songs with Taylor Swift and Maroon 5, even though you're supposed to be this hip-hop head. That's crazy. That's crazy. Because <laughs> even this lie right here, like, he, the way he's talking to you, like, he's talking to you like a son. Like, the Maroon 5 verse, you better make it witty. Like, like that's, that's bro. <laughs> if I'm Kendrick, I'm pissed right now. I'm going to let you know right now. Ah... Uh, Way you doing splits, bitch, your pants might rip yeah. You better do that motherfucking show inside the bitty Maroon 5, need a verse, you better make it witty And even that, he do everything he does is for a reason You know what I'm saying? Like, like Kendrick supposed to be the crip, you know what I mean? So he's saying, do the show inside the bitty, that's blood talk That's cold, like, Drake is an animal Then we need a verse for the Swifties Top say drop, you better drop and give them 50 Pip squeak, pipe down, you ain't in no big three. Scissor got you wiped down, uh, Travis got you wiped down, Savage no. got you wiped down. Like your label, boy, you in a scope right now. And you gon' feel the aftermath of what I write down. I'm at the top of the mountain, so you tight now. Just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. <laughs> big different swing, Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20 v one nigga? Mm. What's a prince to a king, he a son, nigga? Get more love in a city that you fun, nigga. Metro, shut your whole ass up and make some drums, nigga. Yeah, I'm the sixth guy. I'm the hey, front runner. Yo. Y'all nigga manage. All right, this is this is the Drake I like, bro. Everything. He's petty with everything, son. He basically saying, you ain't top three. SZA got you wiped down. Travis got you wiped down. Saying, like, how, how you big three when these other people are so much more relevant than you? When they drop, their album makes so much more noise. And your shit came and gone in like a month. That's cold. And then over here, he's like, basically, I'm at the top of the mountain. To even talk to you, I, I got to hike down. I heard the aftermath Interscope shit, but like, I I think, I think 50 and all of them was doing that. Like even Cam, like they had Matt Interscope flip. So that was cool. Um, so right here is, is crazy too, because this is a, a Michael Jackson flip because they've been going back and forth. You know what I'm saying? First person shooter. Drake was like, um, went away from Mike Jack and then uh, Kendrick was like Prince outlived him, and now he's over here saying, "What's a prince to a king? Is a son." Michael Jackson, the king of pop, you know what I'm saying? So he's basically referring, like, "That's cool, you could be Prince, but you my son." Like, he's he's slick as fuck, boy. It's gonna be this is gonna be a a tough one for Kendrick to come like like really win this. Because Drake is not no easy, he's not no easy target for real. I'm so you tight now, just to add this talk with your ass, I had to hike down. Big difference between Mike then and Mike now. What the fuck is this, a 20 v one? Yes. <laughs> What's the prince to a king? He a son, son, nigga. Get more love in a city that you find, nigga. Metro, he shut your whole ass up out. and make some drums, nigga. <laughs> yeah, I'm the sixth guy, I'm the front runner. Uh. Y'all nigga manager was Charles little blunt runner. Clean a six and you boys ain't even come, come from it. it. And when you boys got rich, you had to run from it. Cash blowing, able bread out here tricking. Trickin'? Shit we do for bitches, he doing for niggas. Jets, whips, chains, wicked, wicked, wicked. 
spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping. He talking about the weekend. Bro, what the fuck? He said, yo, manager was Chubb's little blunt runner. That's basically like you an errand boy, dog. Like, what, what, what is, like, y'all, y'all kids right now. Y'all, y'all really want to start up shit when y'all already know that I'm, I'm him. And then <laughs> he said, cash blowing able bread. That's the weekend out here tricking. What he do for bitches, he doing for men. That's, that's cold. And then the wicked, wicked, wicked. That was a future song. I'm telling, bro, he is, this is methodical as fuck, boy. Whips change, wicked, wicked, wicked. Spinning like you trying to fuck, boy, you tripping, boy, you tripping. Drizzy chipping there, probably got your bitch in there. I just got them done, boy, don't make me at the chipping nail. Rolling loud stage, I would turn, that was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I be rocking every fucking chain I own, next busy, ayy. I be with some bodyguards like Whitney, Top say drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Ayy. See, this is the shit that got him in trouble with push right here. Like, this might seem simple, but this whole I be bodyguard, I be with some bodyguards like I'm Whitney. That's Kendrick, a uh, girl name, and then Whitney Houston was in the movie The Bodyguard. So that was like a, a double right there. And then he's still back to the chain thing, like, bro, I'm gonna come to your city and wear everything and y'all not touching me. Like, I'm not worried about it. This is so dope because every line is something. And this right here, okay. The Rolling Loud stage was turned. Y'all was slick as hell. Talk about Travis Scott and Future when they uh, was performing. Travis Scott was like, hey, yo, um, play my shit. And they played a diss record. The only thing that's sticky about that is they didn't play the diss. Like, they didn't play Kendrick's part. So Travis could just not have heard a diss, you know what I'm saying? Like, and Drake is just over there like, oh, word? Okay. Okay. And then he said, shit will probably change if your BM started to kiss and tell, which is cold. Because I'm pretty sure... Um, Sierra had a song called Kiss and Tell, but this could also be at Travis too, because you know, uh, Drake be real, like he's real involved with the goddamn Kardashians. That's a lot of the smoke between him and Kanye. Yeah, this is, this is wild. Cause he's doing shit. That's like, basically like, you know what I know. So I'm gonna let you know that if you keep going, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a let you know all the shit. So this is just me like subtly letting you know that I will go there, even though he's not telling us like everything. Chipping there, rolling loud stage, I would turn. That was slick as hell. Shit'll probably change if it be him, start to kiss and tell. Hugs and kisses, man, don't tell me about no switches. I'll be rocking every fucking chain I own next busy. Hey, I'll be with some bodyguards like Whitney, Top say, drop your little midget ass, better fuck it. Hey, better drop it, give me 50. Yeah, that's <laughs> give me 50. Niggas really got me out here rapping what I'm living. I might take your latest girl a cuffle like I'm Ricky. Uh. Can't believe he jumping in this nigga turning 50. Every song that made it on a chart he got from Drizzy. Spin that little check, you gotta stay up out my business. Nigga, shout out to the Hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga, I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. This for all the top dogs, drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. In that fucking song, y'all got to not start the beef with us. This should be. Bruh. This is crazy. Like, Rick Ross really caught a whole fucking four lines on this. I might take your last girl on cover like I'm Ricky. You know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody know oh, Rick Ross is a correctional officer. <laughs> but the crazy, even before that, he was like, I'm out here talking like I'm 50. You know, they had beef and shit. And then he was like, I'm really out here rapping what I'm living. And, this, and that's what makes it so hard. It's because, like, He's giving everybody the number ones. He really is at the top of music. Like he is the pinnacle of all hip hop right now. And then everything that I th I'm pretty sure that Rick Ross has dropped that has hit them chart topping numbers with some Drake feature. Like what the fuck? That's cold. Check, you gotta stay up out my business, nigga. Uh. Shout out to the hooper that be busting out the gritty. We know why you mad, nigga. I ain't even tripping. All that little heartbroken Twitter shit for bitches. Mm. This for all the top dogs. Drop and give me 50. Drop, drop. 
And that fucking song y'all got to not start the beef with us. This shit being brewing in a pot now I'm heating up. I don't care what Cole think that dot shit was weak as fuck. Champagne tripping, he is not fucking easing up. Uh -huh. Nigga calling top to see if top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Top wanna piece it up. Nah, pussy, now you on your own when you speaking up. You don't roll deep to this, it's not fucking deep enough. <laughs> Making cops or not, boy, you not fucking beating up. Hey. Numbers wise, I'm out of here, you not fucking creeping up. Money wise, I'm out of here, you not <laughs> fucking sneaking up. up. Corn ball, your show money, merch money, feed us. I'ma let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. Drop and give me 50, all you fuck niggas teaming up. <laughs> Ah, yeah, he is cooking. Hey, man, he is cooking. I don't care what nobody say. You could not, you could not fuck with Drake all you want, but he is cooking right now. Oh my God, he said, "Yo, this that song ain't starting to beef." I already ain't like this motherfucker for one, but two, that J Cole shit, that shit was whack. You know what I mean? Like, what? like, because <laughs> J Cole was on stage. This is what pissed me off so bad, bro. Like, I get. I get like not wanting to be in the beef and shit like that, but come on, bro. The dude dissed your ass, and then you like, oh yeah, that shit was tough. That bazooka that dropped off my neck, like, bro, fuck all that, dog. We here, and that's what Drake is here, bro. This is what I'm saying. This is cold. Let me see, bam, bam. And then he's talking about like Top Dog. So Top Dog called me. He trying to piece it up, and I nah, fuck that. You ain't with him no more. So now you gotta hit me. Like you gotta stand on what you doing. That's that's tough. And then he see this is what I, this is what I'm talking about. So this is all actual facts. Like he's like, bro, numbers wise, you not fucking creeping up, dog. Money wise, like I'm richer than all y'all. So what the fuck we talk about? He said, your show money is merch money fee to us. Like, you're not even in my stratosphere. So what are y'all doing talking to me? And all of these are fact. Like, this, it's not even, it's not even like a close race with this. Yeah, that's, that's tough, bro. Let you niggas work it out because I seen enough. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon yeah. up. This ain't even everything I know, don't wait to demon up. Yeah. Drop and give me 50 on you fuck niggas teaming up. What the fuck are you smoking, Hendrix? Academics, dumb ass. Mm -hmm. Hey. Yeah, drop, 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 drop. Drop a 50 bag for the mob in a spot. Drop a 50 bag, 29 for the car. Uh, I was really, really trying to keep it PG. And you heard at the end how he sound like Future when he did that, trying to give it PG. That's how Future be singing. Damn. And I feel like that's kind of him instigating, like, yo, drop. Because everybody know Kendrick got got that song. You know what I'm saying? Everybody have, have said they heard it and all that, but Drake was like, yo, drop that bitch. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you really bought it, drop the song. Let's get it. Like, fuck all that. And this is direct, too. You know what I mean? He even had academics saying, uh, who's top five you smoking on, Kendrick? So he... Can't say that he not saying people now. He said Rick Ross name. He called Abel his name. He called Metro Woman. Shut your hoe ass up and make some drums, dog. Like, come on, bro. Like, mm. Kendrick has to respond. He has to. There's no if he does not respond, bro. He kind of be in the J Cole bot. Like, you can't ever again talk that crazy shit. Like you just got to be doing your humble shit. You know what I'm saying? Humble, sit down, do that shit. Because if you don't respond after you done started all this shit, and you've been saying it since control, you've been saying it. So now he finally came up like, all right, I'm here now. Now what you going to do? Damn. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah, y'all let me know. Y'all let me know uh, who y'all think is going to uh, come on top of this because I'm interested I believe Kendrick is a better, like, rapper, lyricist. You know what I'm saying? I do not know if he has enough, though. Damn. Y'all let me know what y'all think. But anyway, appreciate y'all for kicking with me. Like, comment, subscribe, ding that bell. Help the channel grow, and we are gone. Peace. Yeah, I don't chill much, man. I'm plotting on the takeover. Trying to get them billies like I'm Dre, A, and J over. Beg for me to drop, tell them that the weight's over. Thinking that they hot, till I hit them with that flamethrower. Support my homies and I'm praying for my enemies. Fake love everywhere. Yeah, that should be killing me. Still bless them, sending them miracles like I'm Genevieve. Don't fuck with women that I don't.